The evening was bathed in the warm hues of the setting sun, casting a cozy glow inside our living room. I had just settled in my favorite armchair, a glass of scotch in hand, when the front door creaked open. Chelsea entered with an air of unease about her, her normally vibrant green eyes clouded with uncertainty. In her hands, she clutched her phone, which seemed to have absorbed all of her attention. Hey, babe. I greeted her, trying to sound nonchalant, although I couldn't help but notice the worry etched across her face. What's bothering you? Chelsea hesitated for a moment, then sighed deeply. She approached and sank onto the couch, glancing at me as if debating how to start the conversation. Finally, she spoke, her voice tinged with apprehension. James, I've got some news. It's about my trip to Chicago. I leaned forward, my curiosity peaked. What about it? Something wrong? She took a deep breath, her fingers nervously tracing the edge of her phone. I've decided to cancel it this year. I raised an eyebrow, my heart pounding a bit faster. Her biannual trips to Chicago had been a long-standing tradition. One she had insisted was for shopping and relaxation. But I knew better. I had known for years that these trips were a cover for her affair with a lover. It was a secret I had chosen to keep, locked away in the darkest corners of my heart. Why? I asked, feigning innocence, though I knew the answer already. Chelsea looked away, unable to meet my gaze. I just, I need a break from it all, I guess. Things have changed. The words hung heavy in the air, unspoken truths that we both knew too well. Her lover, Mark, had recently met a tragic end in a botched robbery, and it had shaken her to her core. A wave of guilt washed over me, knowing that I had been aware of her affair for so long. I cleared my throat, choosing my words carefully. I'm sorry to hear about Mark Chelsea. It must be tough for you. She nodded, tears welling up in her eyes. Yeah, it's been really hard. I just need some time to process everything. And there it was, the unspoken agreement to keep our secrets hidden, buried beneath the weight of her lover's untimely demise. Chelsea's change of plans had set in motion a series of events that would eventually force us both to confront the tangled web of deceit and betrayal that had defined our marriage for far too long. A few weeks after Chelsea's announcement to cancel her trip to Chicago, our home seemed enveloped in an unspoken tension. We both went about our daily routines, tiptoeing around the elephant in the room. It was a cool autumn evening when Chelsea finally opened up about the real reason behind her decision. Sitting in the dimly lit living room, I watched as Chelsea nervously paced back and forth. She seemed to be wrestling with her emotions, and I knew that what she was about to say would change everything. Finally, she sank into the armchair across from me, her eyes weary from the weight of her secrets. James, she began, her voice trembling, there's something I need to tell you. I set my book aside, my heart pounding in anticipation. Go ahead, Chelsea. You can tell me anything. She took a deep breath and met my gaze. Mark, my lover, he's, he's dead. He died in a botched robbery a few weeks ago. The words hung in the air like a heavy storm cloud, casting a shadow over our already strained relationship. I felt a mixture of sympathy and guilt, knowing that Mark's death had led Chelsea to reconsider her trips to Chicago. The affair that had plagued our marriage for so long had come to a tragic end. I reached out and took her hand, offering what little comfort I could. I'm so sorry, Chelsea. That's, that's terrible news. Chelsea's eyes welled up with tears, and she buried her face in her hands. I just can't believe he's gone, she sobbed. It was a heartbreaking moment, and I wished I could hold her and offer solace. But I couldn't reveal my own knowledge of their affair. I had my own secrets, and they had been my silent companions for far too long. As we sat there, Chelsea's tears soaking into the fabric of her chair, I couldn't help but wonder how this tragedy would reshape our lives and what it would mean for the secrets we had been harboring. Mark's death had set us on an unexpected path, one filled with uncertainty and a growing sense that the truth would eventually come to light. The days following Chelsea's revelation about Mark's tragic death were a blur of emotions and uncertainty. It was as if the walls of our home held secrets that were too heavy to bear. The tension between us grew with each passing day, and we struggled to find a way to navigate the uncharted waters of our marriage. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, 
casting long shadows throughout the room, Chelsea turned to me with an unexpected proposal. James, she began tentatively, how about I join you on your next trip? It might do us good to spend some quality time together. I was caught off guard by her suggestion, unsure of how to respond. My trips, taken during her absences with Mark, had become my way of coping with the knowledge of her betrayal. They had been my escape from the heartache and loneliness that had consumed me. I had kept my own secrets hidden for years, never daring to reveal the truth about my own affairs. I took a deep breath, knowing that it was time to come clean. Chelsea, there's something I need to tell you. I began, my voice trembling with trepidation. I haven't been traveling alone during your trips to Chicago. I've been going with Aaron, Mark's wife. Chelsea's eyes widened in shock, her mouth hanging open in disbelief. You and Aaron, she whispered, her voice barely above a whisper. I nodded, the weight of my own secret finally lifted from my shoulders. Yes, Chelsea, we only met during the times you were away with Mark. We found solace in each other's company, just like you and Mark did. The room fell silent as the truth hung between us like a heavy fog. Chelsea's face went through a tumultuous range of emotions, from disbelief to anger to hurt. Tears welled up in her eyes and she seemed at a loss for words. Finally, she managed to speak, her voice quivering with a mixture of sorrow and anger. I can't believe you would do that, James. How could you betray me like this? I hung my head, ashamed of my own actions. I know it's wrong, Chelsea. I'm not proud of it. But it's the truth. The revelation had turned our already strained relationship into a minefield of emotions. The truth about our mutual infidelity had come to light, and we were left grappling with the consequences of our choices. Chelsea's proposal to join me on my next trip had unraveled a web of secrets that neither of us could have predicted. The weight of our shared secrets hung heavily in the air after Chelsea's shocking revelation about her lover's death and her unexpected proposal to join me on my next trip. It felt as if the fragile facade of our marriage was crumbling and there was no turning back. A few days later, as we sat in the dimly lit confines of our living room, the tension was palpable. Chelsea had barely spoken to me since learning about my affair with Aaron, and I could sense the anger and betrayal in her every glance. I finally mustered the courage to break the silence. Chelsea, we need to talk about this. We can't keep avoiding the truth. She turned to me, her eyes cold and distant. What is there left to say, James? You had an affair with Aaron, and I had one with Mark. Our marriage is a mess. I nodded, acknowledging the painful reality. You're right, Chelsea. It's a mess, but it's a mess we've both contributed to. Tears welled up in Chelsea's eyes, and her voice quivered as she spoke. I can't believe you betrayed me like this, James. I thought we had something special. I reached out and took her hand, desperate to bridge the emotional chasm that had opened up between us. I know I messed up, Chelsea. I never wanted any of this to happen, but it did, and now we have to face the consequences together. She withdrew her hand, her gaze still fixed on the floor. I don't even know who we are anymore. How did we become this? I sighed, the weight of guilt and regret pressing down on me. I don't have all the answers, Chelsea, but I do know that we have a choice. We can either try to salvage what's left of our marriage or continue down this destructive path. Finally, Chelsea looked up at me, her eyes filled with a mixture of pain and uncertainty. Can we even salvage anything after all that's happened? I met her gaze, my own heart heavy with sorrow. I don't know, Chelsea, but we won't find out unless we try. The admission of our mutual affairs had laid bare the shattered trust and broken promises that had defined our marriage. It was a painful reckoning, but it was also the first step towards some form of resolution. As we sat there, lost in the wreckage of our relationship, we knew that the road ahead would be filled with difficult choices and painful truths. In the days that followed the admission of our mutual affairs, Chelsea and I found ourselves navigating uncharted territory. The secrets that had long festered beneath the surface were now out in the open, and it was impossible to ignore the elephant in the room. We had to confront the past if we ever hoped to move forward. One evening, Chelsea and I sat across from each other in our cozy living room, the air thick with tension. The dim light from a single lamp cast long shadows, adding to the solemn atmosphere. I took a deep breath, 
breaking the silence. Chelsea, there's something I need to tell you. I've known about your affair with Mark for a while. Her eyes widened in surprise. What do you mean you've known? I recounted the moment I had pieced together the truth, the careless coordination of her trips to Chicago with Mark's. I overheard a conversation you had with him when I was in the next room. It became clear to me that your trips were more than just shopping and relaxation. Chelsea looked down, shame and guilt etched across her face. I never meant for you to find out, James. I thought I was being careful. I couldn't help but feel a pang of sympathy for her, despite the hurt she had caused. I understand, Chelsea. I know we both made mistakes. But keeping secrets from each other only made things worse. She nodded, her gaze still fixed on the floor. I just didn't know how to stop. It became this, addictive escape from our problems. I reached out and gently touched her hand. I get it, Chelsea. We both used our affairs as a way to cope with our own pain and loneliness. But it's time for us to confront our past and figure out where we go from here. She met my gaze, her eyes filled with uncertainty. Do you think we can ever rebuild our trust, James? I sighed, the weight of our fractured marriage pressing down on me. I don't know, Chelsea, but we have to try. We owe it to ourselves to find out. The revelation of my knowledge about her affair had brought us one step closer to confronting the truth and the deep-seated issues that had driven us apart. As we sat there, the room bathed in the soft glow of the lamp, we knew that the path ahead would be challenging, but it was a path we had to walk together if there was any hope of redemption. The days passed in a somber haze after our confrontation about our mutual affairs and the revelation of my knowledge of Chelsea's relationship with Mark. The tension in our home remained palpable, and we both struggled to come to terms with the painful truths that had come to light. It was during this tumultuous period that we found ourselves attending Mark's funeral. The sun hung low in the sky as we gathered with Mark's friends and family at the cemetery. Chelsea stood among the mourners, her face etched with grief and sadness. I watched from a distance, knowing that my presence would only cause further tension among the grieving crowd. As the eulogies began, Chelsea's emotions got the better of her. She wept openly, her sobs echoing through the air, a raw and heartbreaking display of her love for Mark. It was a stark contrast to the facade of her calm and composed exterior that she had maintained throughout our marriage. Aaron, Mark's widow and my own lover, stood nearby, equally devastated by the loss of her husband. We exchanged sympathetic glances, our shared pain and grief unspoken. In that moment, it became clear that our mutual secrets and betrayals had irrevocably changed the course of our lives. After the service, Chelsea approached me, her eyes red and puffy from crying. She looked exhausted and defeated, her usual strength and confidence shattered by the weight of her grief. James, she said in a shaky voice, I can't believe he's gone. It's all my fault. I reached out and placed a comforting hand on her shoulder, my own heart heavy with the knowledge of our shared guilt. Chelsea, it's not your fault. It was a tragic accident. She wiped away tears with the back of her hand and looked at me, her expression a mix of sadness and resignation. I never got to say goodbye. I never got to tell him how much he meant to me. I couldn't help but feel a pang of sympathy for her, knowing that the affair had been her way of finding solace and happiness. I'm so sorry, Chelsea. Losing someone you love is never easy. As we stood there, surrounded by the grieving, I couldn't help but wonder if this moment of shared sorrow would bring us closer or drive us further apart. The fallout at Mark's funeral had left us both emotionally raw, and it was clear that our journey toward resolution was far from over. The aftermath of Mark's funeral left our home in a state of melancholic disarray. Chelsea and I had both been deeply affected by the emotional roller coaster of the past weeks. Our shared secrets and betrayals had cast a shadow over our marriage that we could no longer ignore. One evening, as we sat in the dimly lit living room, the atmosphere was heavy with unresolved tension. The silence was suffocating, broken only by the faint hum of the ceiling fan. I knew that we had to address the elephant in the room, and the time had come to make a difficult decision. I took a deep breath, breaking the silence that had become all too familiar. Chelsea, we can't keep living like this. Our marriage is broken beyond repair. She looked up at me, her eyes weary and filled with a mixture of sadness and resignation. 
I know James. It's been so hard, and I don't see a way out of this mess. I nodded, my heart heavy with sorrow. We need to face the reality of our situation. We've hurt each other in ways that can't be undone. Tears welled up in Chelsea's eyes, and she spoke with a trembling voice. I never wanted any of this to happen. I thought I could keep my affair a secret forever. I reached out and gently touched her hand, offering what little comfort I could. I know, Chelsea, I never wanted to hurt you either, but we can't change the past. She withdrew her hand, her gaze fixed on the floor. So, what do we do now? I took a deep breath, knowing that what I was about to say would change our lives forever. I think it's time we end this, Chelsea. We need to get a divorce. Tears streamed down Chelsea's face as she looked up at me, her eyes filled with a mixture of sadness and acceptance. A divorce? I nodded, my own eyes welling up with tears. Yes, Chelsea, it's the only way we can both move forward and find some semblance of happiness. As we sat there, the weight of our decision settling over us, it was clear that our marriage had reached its breaking point. The admission of our mutual infidelity and the pain it had caused had left us with no other choice. The decision for divorce marked the end of a chapter in our lives, but it also held the promise of a new beginning, a chance for both of us to find a different path in life, one free from the lies and secrets that had defined our relationship for far too long.